Yo, 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 YouTube, what's up? It's me, Mr. Magikio, coming at you with another balloon tutorial. Uh, thank you to Balloon Sage for leaving a comment on one of my other videos. He said, you should make some more. So this one's for you, Mr. Balloon Sage. Uh, today, we're gonna be looking at uh, an advanced balloon wing. This one is courtesy of Nao Osaka, uh, a balloon legend. I Facebooked him and he said it was totally cool for me to do a tutorial of his awesome wing design. So thank you, Nao. Uh, right, let's get to it. You're going to need a 160 balloon pumped up with a considerably long tail, uh, longer than you might think. We're going to need at least seven or eight fingers of uninflated balloon. Let's start with a small pinch twist, followed by a three finger cylinder twist, and then another pinch twist. Let's keep all of our pinch twists quite small on this because we don't have much balloon to work with. I'm going to come back and match this cylinder twist. Next, we will do a slightly longer cylinder twist along the top. This is the top part of the bird's wing. We are now going to come down for the arm of the wing, which is about a two finger bubble followed by another pinch twist. This is the structure of the bird's wing. The feathers are now gonna come underneath here. If you can remember this shape, it's gonna be useful because you can also use it when trying to do this with 260s and uh, some different colors. You can vary the color of the feathers. Now I will show you what I call these feather clusters. We're going to take a one inch spacer bubble, uh, sorry, a small spacer bubble, followed by a small feather bubble, a tiny bubble, which we will pinch twist in a second, and another bubble to match the first. That is our first feather cluster and we will pinch twist the top. One more space bubble, followed by another one of these feather clusters, we're gonna call them. Pinch twist the top. That's two so far. Let's do another spacer bubble and another one of our feather clusters. Here we go. As you can see, the feather clusters are slightly diminishing in size. The first one is the biggest, second, third. Let's twist the top of that. We've got three, let's try and make a fourth. So it's another spacer bubble. followed by another one of our feather clusters. There, one's come undone, don't worry, we can save that. That's one, two, three, four of our feather clusters. Make sure the pinch twists are all parallel. Now you can see with our feather clusters, they're all in a row. Now here is the fun bit. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put all of these pinch twists in between these two bubbles here. So we're gonna open this up and we're gonna push them inside. So what you do is you take your fingers, go in between and pull the pinch twists. That's one, two, three, and four. So we've got all of the pinch twists up in there and don't be afraid to give it a real good pull. Good job. So here you have your wing structure. This last bit here we do not need, so what we're gonna do is just get some scissors and try and pop that off without letting it deflate the whole balloon. And we'll just bring it up to that initial pinch twist for a bit more security. So here you have one of your wings. Obviously you need to make two, so you get uh, a second wing like that. Once you have your two wings, you can attach them to whatever you so desire. Uh, this added to a horse makes an awesome Pegasus. Uh, I've had a few kids lose their minds over that one. Um, you can attach them obviously to a bird, which is what we are making today. So for example, you could get a bird structure like this, the classic bird head, that's a three cylinder twist with a pinch twist on the back. 
put some uh, mocha mini pinch twist in for the eyes. Don't forget to put a little bit of white edding marker on there for the sun splashes on his eyes and I've given him a little beak. Uh, the tummy here is just a 260 on the back of this 160 body and I freestyled the tail. To attach the wings you will need a scrap of pink so you just take uh, any bit of uh, an inflated balloon attach it to the pinch twist of one of your wings we will come in between the tummy and the back of the bird like so and take the other balloon here and attach it to the other pinch twist. That is our bird structure. As you can see, we've made this uh, pink bird here. Um, you can change the color up. If you're not happy with a 160 tummy, you could try using a five inch round with a sidewall bubble or a raisin. Uh, here I've changed the colors up a little bit. I tried to make a kingfisher, obviously bury the mouth, but you can see that the wings are the same design we've just used from before. Now, as I mentioned, you can use 260s as well. Uh, you're going to need two balloons for the 260s, but it is the same design that we have just done. It's the three bubble cluster here, the side of the wing. Now you change over the color of the balloon and do those uh, special feather clusters we did all held into place here with those pinch twists that are being neatly uh, squashed together there by the wing structure. So that is my bird tutorial. Thank you, YouTube. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will try and make another one again soon. Thank you. Goodbye.